And question number four it says Charlie is trying to cut a cake, and the cake is a square with side length two, and its corners are at zero zero, two zero, two comma two, and zero comma two. Now Charlie's first cut is a straight line segment from the point x y to x zero, where x lies between zero and two, and second straight cut from point x y to the point zero comma k, where k lies somewhere on the left hand edge of the cake. This will make a slice of cake which is bound to the left of the first cut and bounded below the second cut, as shown in this figure. Now the first question is find the area of slice of cake in terms of x, y, and k. Now what we'll do is we'll divide this area in two parts: area of this triangle and area of this rectangle. So this area it will be area of this rectangle which is x into y plus area of this triangle, and area of this triangle is one by two. Its base is x, and its height is k minus y. Now we take one by two common. It will be two x y plus x k minus x y. So it will be simply x y plus x k, or it is one by two x into y plus k. So that's your first part. Now the second part is find another point x y on the cake such that. Choosing k equals to one gives a slice of cake with area one. So for the second part, we have fixed k as one, and this area will also be one. So now we can write one equals one by two x into y plus one. Now this is x into y plus one equals to two, which is a rectangular hyperbola. And it will have infinite points. So we will choose all the points with the constraint that x should lie between zero and two, and y should lie between zero and two. So any point will suffice. One such point could be we can take x as say three by two, and if we put x as three by two, we'll get y plus one equals four by three, or value of y as one by three. There are infinitely many such points. Now, this third part is: it says show that it is only possible to choose a value of k that gives a slice of cake with area one if both x y is less than equal to two and x into two plus y is greater than equal to two. Now we know that this area is one by two x into y plus k. Now for this question, we are taking value of a as one. So we'll take this value as one. We can write k equals. Now if we transpose it, we can write this as two by x minus y, or simply two minus x y upon x. Now this k it must lie between zero and two. So we'll simply write this k. It should lie between zero and two. That is. Two minus x y upon x, it should lie between zero and two. Now, if we solve this first part, clearly x is greater than zero. So from here we we'll get two minus x y is greater than equal to zero, or x into y is less than equal to two. And the second condition, which is two minus x y upon x, it is Less than or equal to two. Now again, x is greater than zero, so we can cross multiply. We can write two minus x y is less than equal to two x. So we'll take this x y on the right hand side. We can write x into two plus y. It is greater than or equal to two. So it is only possible to get a value of k if x y is less than equal to two and x into two plus y is greater than or equal to two. So that's your part third. Now fourth part is sketch the region R of the cake for which both inequalities in part three hold, indicating any relevant point on the edges of the curve. So first we'll draw our axis, and then this square. This is zero zero. This is two comma zero, zero comma two, and this is. Two comma two. Now this first curve is x y is less than equal to two. Now we have already learned 
how to draw graphs of inequalities. For this, our guiding curve is x y equals two, which is a rectangular hyperbola. Now on this curve, when y is two, x is one. So this point is one comma two. And here, when x is two, y is one. So this is two comma one. So it'll be this rectangular hyperbola. And then if we put x and y as zero, it will be zero less than or equal to two. That means we are talking about region on the left of this rectangular hyperbola. So this is the favorable region. Now for the second one, we have x into two plus y greater than or equal to two. So here our guiding curve is. X into two plus y, it is equal to two. Now, if y is zero, value of x is one. So this point here, it will be one comma zero. And when y is two, value of x is one by two. So this point will be one by two comma two. So this again, it is a rectangular hyperbola. And here, if we put x and y as zero, we get zero greater than equal to two. That means origin doesn't satisfy this inequality, so it'll be on the other side of this curve. So the favorable region will be region between these two rectangular hyperbolas, including the points on the boundaries. So this is our favorable region. Now, in part five, it says Charlie may instead plan to make a second straight cut. From x y to the point m comma two on top of the edge. So now he has taken some other point, and this point is say m comma two, and it says in order to make a slice bounded to the left of two cuts. So here we are talking about this whole area. So now what I'll do is I'll divide this area in two parts. First this rectangle, and then this trapezium. So now we can write this area as area of this rectangle, which is simply x into y plus area of this trapezium, which is one by two into now this length is x and this length is m, so it'll be this x plus m and then this height, which is two minus y. So this is the required area in the second case. Now we can write this as one by two, and it'll be this two x y plus two x plus two m minus x y minus m y, which we can also write as one by two two x plus two m plus x y minus m y. Now we want this area to be one, so we'll take this area as one, and then we can find the value of m. So it'll be this two, and then two plus y x plus m into two minus y, or we can simply write this m as x into y plus two minus two upon y minus two. Now we need to find two necessary and sufficient inequalities for x and y for this area to be one for some values of m. Now we know that value of m should lie between zero and two. So from here we can write zero is less than or equal to x y plus two minus two upon y minus two. It is less than or equal to two. Now we'll solve these two parts. This first part is X y plus two minus two upon y minus two. It is greater than or equal to zero. Now we know that value of y it lies between zero and two. That means this value is negative. We take it on the right hand side. Sign of inequality will invert. So we we'll get x into y plus two minus two. It should be 
less than or equal to 0. So from here we get our first condition which is x into y plus 2 is less than or equal to 2. And with it we should also have our second condition which is x y plus 2 minus 2 upon y minus 2 it is less than or equal to 2. Now this again is negative. So again if we multiply sign will change so it will be this x y plus 2 x minus 2 it will be greater than or equal to 2 y minus 4. So if we rearrange this we take it here and we will take this here we will get 2 x plus 1 will be greater than or equal to y into 2 minus x. So these are our two conditions. Now we have to sketch these conditions on the coordinate axis. So again, we'll draw coordinate axis. This is our cake. 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 2 and 2, 2. Now this is our same curve. x, y plus 2 equals 2. That is, when y is 0, x is 1. And when y is 2, x is 1 by 2. So we will draw this rectangular hyperbola. And if we put origin, then 0 is less than or equal to 2, which satisfies this inequality. So we are talking about region to the left of this rectangular hyperbola. Now for the second part, we have y equals 2 x plus 1 upon 2 minus x which also is a rectangular hyperbola. Now in this case when x is 0 y is 1. So it will be this point. We cannot put x equals 2. Now if you put y as 2 we will get 2 equals 2 x plus 1 it will be 2 minus x or value of x is 1 by 2. So it will be this point 1 by 2 comma 2. So it will be this rectangular hyperbola. And if we put origin here, we get 2 is greater than or equal to 0 which is true. That means we are talking about region towards the origin. So in this case, the inequality region is in between these two curves including all the boundary points.